this should be an interesting video where we get to see the hysteroscopic view of the healthy and alive gestational sac at least the outer aspect of it this gestational sac is located in abnormal location and it is called as angular pregnancy very close differential diagnosis of this condition is coronal ectopic pregnancy or interstitial ectopic pregnancy this patient was misdiagnosed to be coronal ectopic pregnancy by the sonologist and we were called for the excision of the coronal pregnancy on putting telescope inside the abdomen we don't see classical signs of coronal ectopic pregnancy only mild bulging of the right coronal region was noted on laparoscopy it is very difficult to rule out the coronal ectopic pregnancy as the gestational sac can be very small and deep into the substance of the isthmus region intraoperatively again ultrasonography was done it showed eccentrically placed g sac near the right coronal region with myometrial mantle around 5 to 6 mm still the dilemma for the diagnosis continues so the next step would be hysteroscopy counseling of the patient party was done for the same and uh, with the explaining the risk of possible risk of abortion but at least this will rule out the life threatening condition of the coronal ectopic pregnancy or interstitial ectopic pregnancy we will use these two words interchangeably in our video hysteroscopy is started with no touch technique and vaginoscopic approach and you can see endometrial lining with decidualization there is marginally increased vascularity this is basically decidua parietalis on the right coronal region one can see the spectacular and astounding view of the alive gestational sac g sac is completely hanging within the endometrial cavity this basically rules out the coronal ectopic pregnancy this can be called as angular pregnancy the outer aspect of this g sac is covered with decidua capsularis with all the blood vessels so the visibility into the g sac is hindered the diagnosis of angular pregnancy was ascertained after this this procedure was stopped and the pregnancy was asked to continue this pregnancy progressed well with normal anomaly scan report and eventually somehow we prevented unnecessary excision of this pregnancy we will go through the literature of the angular pregnancy in brief pregnancy implantation medial to the round ligament attachment at the lateral angle of the endometrial cavity results in angular pregnancy angular pregnancy can progress to term in about 80% of the cases uh, because it is technically within the endometrial cavity only they often centralize into the uterine cavity as gestational age advances but there can be catastrophe of uterine rupture as it is seen in up to 13% of the cases so in a diagnosed case of angular pregnancy watchful waiting can be elected as it's a potentially viable pregnancy till the term in majority of the cases about the coronal or interstitial ectopic pregnancy here blastocyst is implanted proximal uh, implanted into the proximal interstitial part of the fallopian tube the location of the gestational sac is lateral to the round ligament attachment this particular type constitutes uh, 2% of all ectopic pregnancies continuation of the pregnancy is not a possibility in this type of ectopic pregnancy and in this type mortality rate is 7 times higher as there is higher chance of the rupture it is very important to differentiate between the angular pregnancy and the coronal or interstitial ectopic pregnancy because the management is very different for these conditions a good quality transvaginal ultrasonography can differentiate these two condition we will go through the findings usg findings of both the conditions in coronal ectopic pregnancy the myometrial mantle which is surrounding the gestational sac is often less than 5 mm second sign is interstitial line sign which is nothing but ecogenic line between the gestational sac and the endometrial ecogenic complex this particular sign has got 80% of the sensitivity uh, third sign is the gestational sac is at least 1 cm away from the lateral wall of the endometrial cavity fourth sign is uh, which is obvious empty endometrial cavity 
on the contrary angular pregnancy the myometrial mantle is more than 5 mm and the gestational sac is very close to the endometrial cavity let us also talk about hysteroscopy during pregnancy generally pregnancy is a strict contraindication for the hysteroscopy only some specific conditions are known to benefit from hysteroscopy during pregnancy the first condition is pregnancy along with the copper t where copper t is removed hysteroscopically and the pregnancy is continued there are several reports of this procedure with uneventful pregnancy outcome second condition is scar ectopic pregnancy where hysteroscopic removal is one management option and the third case is angular pregnancy as seen in our case where we uh, successfully avoided unnecessary excision or the termination of the pregnancy this video is not to emphasize the role of hysteroscopy during angular pregnancy the message from this video is that uh, ideally there should be uh, apt diagnosis of the this condition on sonography uh, through the thorough knowledge of this its finding and when there is doubt one can always wait and watch and do the repeat sonography after few days uh, explaining them uh, the patient all the possibilities about the risk of the rupture and everything uh, but in specific situations uh, where maybe the hysteroscopy is uh, can be considered and maybe it is the last option uh, in such situation thank you for watching our video